All right, I have the next question. And this is a juicy one. It's dripping out my mouth. Like it's, <laughs> it's dripping, it's dripping. <laughs> Welcome back to the Chatterbox Toronto. We're back again with some juicy ass questions for you guys. And I, I got my girl, Hannah, AKA Cutie with me. We're gonna have some fun today with these questions, right? Yeah. Yes, they're pretty juicy. So today I'm actually gonna let my guest start off because I'm always greedy with the questions. <laughs> so I'm gonna let my guest start off and go ahead. Hannah has the first question. Yeah, I'm like, it's about time. Bro. I always come back. <laughs> Give me, sh give me a shot. <laughs> okay, so this question is actually interesting. Hmm, very juicy. Okay. It says, I kissed a girl I work with, uh, but I did not mean anything. Oh, but he did not, he did, he did not mean anything. But I feel so horrible. Should I tell my uh, girlfriend? I don't have feelings for the other girl. Hmm. Oh, so you're in a relationship and you kissed another girl. What at work? Yes. So you work with this girl. That means you're gonna see her again, 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 again. Hmm. Should you tell your girl? So the question is what? Should 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 she tell her girlfriend? Should he tell his girlfriend? It's just a should I, so I don't know if. Well, it's, I'm assuming this is a male is and a girl. Male. So yeah, yeah, a male kiss. This guy kissed mm -hmm. another girl at work. I don't have feelings for the other girl. Hmm. This is a tough one. Honesty is best policy. However. No, honesty is best because now if the other girl decides to tell his girlfriend, this is going to be horrible. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. First of all, I don't know how you allowed yourself to get in that position and kiss another girl. You're saying you kissed her. It's not like she came up and kissed you and you didn't. You kissed her. So, what were you feeling at that time? You were at work. Please, Phil, please. go ahead. Okay. See, I am in a relationship. I am married. So, I'm like, I dropped my mic. Don't do it. Like... How would you feel if, you know, this handsome six-foot guy with, you know, six-packs and he looks so gorgeous, you know, I mystically, accidentally kissed him at work. You know, I see him every day at work. Then, I say I don't feel anything for him. It was just a mistake. Why did you kiss her? How did you accidentally kiss her? Were you drunk? Um, but he didn't say accidentally. He said he kissed her plainly. So yeah, you like, <laughs> thought about it. That's sorry, what I'm saying. Like, you kissed her. Like, were you hit with a rod on your head? Was it at a gunpoint? I need to know the details. Was it, uh, you know? No, he, he, he just did it. <laughs> Nothing happened to him. He was fine in his head <laughs> and he kissed her. Was she dying and they said that uh, you had to kiss her to bring her back? So basically, <laughs> what I want to know from you is, do you think that this man should tell her? Yes, yes, I think he should tell her. Because for me, I would appreciate if you told me, if you call me and say, babe, I kissed someone at work, this is what happened, this is what happened, I want to know. I'm like that. Yeah, and I think it's more it's I want, easier I want to, to forgive if you come and tell me what that happened versus girl. me finding out, or this girl, or somebody else from work, mm -hmm. you know, all this stuff. So... Should you tell her, hell? to me, yes. You should tell her as hard as it's gonna be. There may be consequences, she may leave you. That's, that's your problem now. Too bad, you shouldn't have kissed this other woman. But it is your responsibility, in my opinion, for you to, to go ahead and let your woman know, especially if you're saying you don't have feelings for her, you need to make sure that you tell your woman that as well. And it might be time for you to get a new job because she ain't gonna want you working with this girl. I'm just saying. Every time you come back, I'm gonna look at your lips and be like, did you put on gloves? Yeah, because now the trust, now the trust is broken. Like you've, you've, you've tainted your relationship, and that's the worst thing that you can do. So yes, I think the thing that could be appreciated here is if you do let her know at least what what, what happened. happened. Yeah, yeah. If you, you, and think, if you don't have feelings for her, why the hell are you kissing her? You see that that's that that's the, that's my point. <laughs> These things get me hot. Like, like okay. that's my point. Why? Like it's a kiss. It's Okay, and it's like to me like if you have, if I was the girlfriend and you told me this I would be thinking so many other things like so if she allowed you to would you have fucked her like Why didn't the kiss go further and why did the kiss happen? It's just a lot of questions that are gonna come with it that you better be prepared to answer and Before you go tell her you better have all the answers ready because if you go over there looking like a fool you're gonna get slapped so please Please, I mean, I don't condone abuse, but you know just be careful. The situation may cause abuse. 
But yeah, I, I think that yes, you do need to tell her. And the fact that you feel horrible is a good thing. That means that you actually care about your girlfriend. But you didn't care about your girlfriend in that in that, that moment. So please, please, please try to make it better by telling her. And just, you better start buying gifts. You better start showing and proving you love her. And proving, you know, building that trust again. Because I'm sure it's down here by now. Right? If you guys have been in a situation like this, please comment below. I want to hear from you. Comment, comment, comment. Okay. All right. I have the next question. And this is a juicy one. It's dripping out my mouth. Like it's, <laughs> it's dripping. It's dripping. Okay. So my man is pressuring me to have anal sex. I don't even want to attempt it. I'm afraid it's gonna hurt so much. Will he cheat on me if I don't give in? You see her face. <laughs> okay, okay. Go ahead. I'll let you answer first. Okay. Number one. First of all, scratch it. If a guy is gonna cheat on you because of something that 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 you're not comfortable with, that's not getting from you, then he's not meant for you in the first place. He, he can exactly <laughs> fuck off. Exactly, like yeah. move on. Yeah. It's it's a different thing that like, anal sex is a big thing to some people. It's nothing because they're used to it. Anal sex is it's a huge thing. Some people it's culturally not acceptable. Some people morally they think it's not nice some people like there's a lot of attachment so if you are a man or a woman that likes anal sex you have to have a conversation with your with your partner first of all she has he or she has to be comfortable yeah you know you cannot like yeah I, I agree i think that it depends on your comfort level as a woman mm -hmm. you saying your man is pressuring you to have anal sex that's totally up to you and if he's gonna cheat on you because you don't want to give him anal sex he's not for you that's not the man for you and it's so funny because this is what i talk about with the beginning stages of a relationship when you're doing all that texting so 4 a.m when you just meet somebody these are the things you talk about what turns you on what turns me on what's your sexual you know what do you like what, what how far will you go sexually things like that those are the things you talk about so that this doesn't just happen in the middle of your relationship once you're already in love and now you're worried that this man is gonna cheat. You shouldn't have to worry, first of all, of him cheating on you if you don't give in. Like, boy, bye, okay? If yeah. I don't want you in my booty, you ain't gonna be in my booty, mm -mm. okay? Mm -mm. And yes, uh, for some women, the, the fact that you think that it will hurt and you don't want to do it, you don't even wanna attempt it, that's, that's your personal choice. Um, now, for people who are curious and you may want to try it, go for it, I mean, I say try everything, especially if it's, you're comfortable with this man and he's asking you to do it exactly. and you kind of have a curiosity about it, go for it. Make sure you lube up your booty because, girl, don't do it dry. It's going to hurt. Please make sure you put that lube by the, what is it, uh, anal freeze. Yes, I know. I'm learning things, things okay? here. <laughs> and, and it's not even to say that I do anal sex, but I'm one of those people that will probably try everything one time. Mm -hmm. And I've tried it and holy shit, it hurts, okay? So that's why I said make sure you lube up if this is something you want to try for the first time. Mm -hmm. A lot of women actually enjoy this. Yes. Um, they have orgasms from it. It really mm -hmm. turns them on. Um, however, for if you're a woman that does not want to do this and you have somebody pressuring you, no. Don't let anybody pressure you to do anything. Exactly. Ever. It's like you've been a virgin and your husband yeah. uh, sorry and your boyfriend says like if you don't you know, if you don't give, give it up sex. to me, I'm I'm gonna leave you. Yeah, this is not so boy bye. I mean Exactly especially you're afraid that he's he's gonna cheat, but you need to talk to him and let him know, babe, I'm not comfortable with this, I don't wanna try this and you know, that's it. And then see how he acts from there. I mean, you don't need to ask him if he's gonna cheat on you for that. That's something don't even ask him that. That just makes you look insecure. You don't need to ask him that. You just watch his movements after that and if he's if he's in love with you and he's okay with it then that's fine you know so I say don't do anything that makes you feel uncomfortable with your body and conversations about sex in early relationship is very very important I think we both agree with this that nobody should ever feel pressured to do anything they don't want to do sexually or otherwise and it's all about a conversation and letting them know how comfortable or not and don't ever stay with a man just because you're worried that they're gonna cheat on you like you do what makes you comfortable and keep it pushing and I'm gonna give you a tip, right? You know what? The wh whoever asked this question, this girl, um, does your uh, man go down on you? If he doesn't, just use this as an opportunity. Tell him if you go down on me three times a week, I will think about. What about know? the girls who have the man who's doing all of that, doing everything they want? Mm -hmm. This is for that's, them. Yeah, that uh, it's gonna be tough for them. But it, like she's saying, if you have somebody that's not doing something you want, yeah, exactly, you have leverage. Right. You know, but, <laughs> you like do this three times a week, and I'm gonna consider, you know, putting it down. Yeah. Here. You, you know, it, it could be 
because uh, I've noticed that most men they are kind of selfish in that way. No, want, no, no, I've never had a man that men like to say in the beginning, oh, I don't do this. But when you get with them, I'm not giving you, no, you're not getting no pussy from me unless you're doing that because that's what makes me come. I'm not gonna have an orgasm from your just your date. That doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. Every woman's different, and it's what you tolerate and what you accept, yeah, exactly. right? So yeah, men like to say those things because they don't want to do it. But once when they really want something and they really like you, yeah, that's gonna yeah, do it. that's what I'm saying. Like, so, they will do anything just to you know. So I mean, yeah, use whatever you have to use as leverage, but don't let anybody pressure you. Again, a very strong. Don't let anybody ever pressure you to anything you don't want to do. It's not healthy and it's not it's not good. So that's that for that question. Comment below if you've been in a situation like this or if you disagree, agree, whatever you want to say about our opinions and our advice, comment below, okay? And girl, I hope that helps you out, okay? All right, and before we end the show, I do have a bizarre sex statistic for you. Um, and this one says, the average female orgasm lasts 20 seconds longer, so 14 seconds longer than the male orgasm. So our orgasms last longer. Yeah, like girl, we be trembling 10 seconds, like we be trembling for the longest, like even after you're like, <laughs> like, don't touch it. <laughs> like, you know. Like, uh, but the thing is, men have more orgasms than women, and, and and I say that because most of the time, every single time the man has sex with the woman, yeah. he's yeah. having an orgasm. Not every time. Probably, if you have five times sex, the man is having sex, having an orgasm all five times. The woman's probably having an orgasm once. Okay, that's my personal opinion, and the statistics do show that about eighty-five percent of women are not having orgasms in in their sexual experiences with their yes. partners. So. Yes, yes, a lot of women do not. They just like okay. Yeah, they just yeah. feel good, but mm -hmm. you're not actually having that paradise yeah, moment. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> and you have like that funny thing, thing. like grabbing the sheets and like really feeling it, you know. So that is the bizarre statistic for today. If you guys have anything that you want to share as far as a bizarre, weird, crazy statistic, or just something crazy that you you find sexy comment below i want to know maybe we'll talk about it on the next episode and um i will definitely be sure to share miss hannah's or miss cutie's information here below she also has a youtube channel where she shares makeup tutorial tips so please summer is here make sure that you guys are getting sexy finesse your face and you can do that by checking out my description box below so you can check out her channel also link her information right here somewhere and as usual did you want to say anything before I stop? No, no, no. Because okay, I know I talk a lot. I just, I just <laughs> love coming back. She's yes, just, she'll be back. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Sorry, you. I love having you. Um, but make sure that uh, before I end the show, make sure that you guys like, subscribe, comment, share everything. This video, everything. This video, everything, everything, everything. This video. Share your friends. Share this to your friends. And you guys, send us some topics, questions, all related around relationships, sex, even things that are happening in social media that are really big right now. Share them with us so we can discuss on the show. I'd love to hear from you. All topics and questions that come in are anonymous, so don't be afraid to send me some questions through any of my social media, which you can find below in the description box. And until next time, this was the Chatterbox Toronto. Bye. This is 2018. Yeah, that's true. They're getting fingered. <laughs> <laughs>